my father taught me so many different lessons. And I think the one that maybe stands out the most is just be kind to others. My father had a philosophy that in a lot of ways maybe was a little naive, but it's the way he lived his life and that's the prism with which I was raised and the way I look at the world. My father gave everyone a chance. He was kind and he was open-hearted to everyone. Maybe sometimes that, that trust and that hope and optimism for the other person was betrayed, but it kept him happy. It kept him positive. That's the way he looked at the world. My father really believed, as far as advice goes, that anything you wanted to do was attainable if you were willing to work hard enough to achieve it. And it applied to me specifically because when I was a little boy, I, I, I told my parents when I was 11 years old, one day I want to work for CBS. CBS broadcast the Masters Tournament. To me, that was as good as it gets. And my father said, well, you can make that happen. You just, you know, you got to figure out every possible angle. You got to work for it and follow, follow your dream, dream big. And that was really the advice was just if, if you, if it's something you want it badly enough, work for it. Uh, believe in it. You can make it happen. For my family and friends, I've always been Jimmy. See, I'm the third. My father was junior. And... My, my grandfather was Jim Nance Sr. But my dad it was known professionally, he was known privately, if his friends knew him as Jim. I was Jimmy. So Jimmy is what all of my loved ones call me and all of my closest friends. The only time I'm ever known as Jim is when I'm on the air. So every time I say Jim Nance on the air, I always think that you know that's my father. That's not me. I mean that might be the professional name you know me as. And there's one other thing that, that's attached to that, and that's the opening slogan that I say now in every broadcast, hello friends. That is a direct line to my father because my father had so many friends in his lifetime. He was a very wealthy man, not monetarily, but wealthy as far as friends. He had nothing but friends. No one could ever walk away and have a bad word to say about my dad. People loved him. So I was thinking early uh, in, in the onset of Alzheimer's in the late 90s, I wanted to say something that maybe would trigger something for my father to know that I was thinking of him. So I opened up a broadcast, this is years ago, by saying, hello friends, Jim Nance here, wherever the event might be, off some football game or basketball or golf tournament. Um, and that really, every time I say that on the air, hello friends, that was, that originated as a tribute to my father. And then of course I say Jim Nance here with Nick Faldo or Phil Sims or Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And that's my father's name that's on the air.